Walking around here is like a completely different experience. It's like honestly like you're actually in the game 100% I'm walking around. I'm seeing Bonnie over here. It's Unbelievable how everything looks seeing it physically. It's like a, a, a dream come true and Scott must be over the moon to see his creation like this come to life because Chica feet the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is peak cinema! And not only that, but it is absolutely destroying box office records! Truly is a beautiful time to be a FNAF fan! And of course you've already seen the movie, right? Because now it's finally time to show you all the secrets that you missed! Welcome to the unedited version of the FNAF movie set tour! And in this video we can finally show you all the parts of the movie set that you were never meant to see! Hello! Hello, hello, uh, well if you're hearing this then... Like and subscribe! We got some absolutely incredible things to be showing you in this video. We got to meet the actors for Freddy Bonnie Chica, where they even taught us how to become an animatronic. We got to see and meet some secret characters that we were not allowed to show in the previous vlog. And we also got to try on the Spring Bonnie suit, which may or may not have been a little bit dangerous, but you know, I like living on the edge, you know what I'm saying? And in this video, we're going to be going over all the parts that you didn't see in the previous one, so please go and check out part one if you haven't already because this video is only going to cover the things we were not allowed to show until the movie came out because it contains heavy spoilers and also really cool secret bits here you are meant to see but now you can so enjoy this video smash that like button if you're hyped and hey let me know have you seen the FNAF movie and if you have give it a score out of 10 pop it down in the comment section below I want to see what score everybody's given for the FNAF movie so yeah pop it down there I give the film an 8 out of 10 a solid 8 as a FNAF fan as a person Person that's been waiting for this movie for 8.5 years, 8 out of 10 is a fair score, and hey, FNAF 2 is coming, right? The second film, I'll see you there. No, we should be more excited than that. Yeah? Why? Because we're seeing Freddy. Freddy Fazbear, baby. And the beautiful Dorcos Games was right. We were off to see Freddy, FNAF Bear, and Friends to prove once and for all that FNAF is real. And oh, what a day. What a day it absolutely was. I'm going to be popping in here every so often just to fill in some of the blanks that I wasn't able to talk about at the time because it was spoiler-related material. But now the film is out, baby. We can talk about what we want. And there are so many things that I want to talk about. So hey, if I do pop in here every so often, it's just to give you some more info. A quick shout out to Scott and everybody over at Blumhouse as well for obviously supplying us with the once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. I'm off. Enjoy the rest of this vlog. This is day one of about three, I think. So enjoy. Oh my. It's on his head over there. Oh, what? That's wild. Wow. It has better moments when it's not full of equipment. <laughs> Oh yeah, because um, they're building a fort, right? Yes. That's what Scott said. Oh, the freaking uh, just down here, I just realised. Is that? Oh, they're on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> what are you seeing? Are we yeah. having a shot on the floor? They're just chilling, they're just taking their suits. Yeah, we just, we just shot an overhead shot. Looking down. Look down under here. Oh, look. No. They're just vibing. No, his eyes are moving. Nah. Freddy's oh, eyes are moving. No, no, stop. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing, one thing we can take from the Five Nights at Freddy's universe and relate it back to our own real life world, it's computer problems. I've got them, you've got them, Gregory and Vanessa have got them, and it all results in the same thing. Somebody getting very angry and released into the world. But I'm so sick and tired of it, man. But luckily the solution is actually quite simple. I'm just gonna have another baby. Just look at how beautiful they are. They're faster, stronger, more powerful than my previous child, and hey, look at all the cool glowy lights. But to bring this beautiful baby girl into this world, I couldn't have done it on my own or even with my wife. Oh, no, 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 I had the goats over at Starforge Systems work their magic. I just look, just breathe it and look at what they have created. This is what robotic creature William Afton wished he had created. Thank you so much for the sponsor, Mommy and Daddy. I promise to fill it with all the finale games. I'm honestly so happy and giddy right now because when I referred to Starforge Systems as the GOATS two seconds ago, your boy wasn't exaggerating. This is literally the best PC I've ever had in my entire life and it has made YouTube so much better for me. From playing the games to recording the footage to editing and uploading, this computer does it 
all and more. It does everything so fast, I actually have to spend time with my family. Seriously, once you've had a Starforge PC system, you will not be going to anybody else. And the best thing about it all is they have various different PCs at different price points, so you can find the one that's suitable for you. Just look at the Void your PC, for instance. It is an absolute monster. And you already know your boy's gonna be playing Help Wanted 2 when it comes out on this bad boy right here. But hey, the hits just keep coming, baby. Each computer comes with a full two-year parts and labor warranty. I mean, if Gregory and Vanessa had used one of these PCs instead of some faz junk that was lying around, maybe the Mimic wouldn't be free in the world. Oh yeah, final point, they really want me to stress that the logo is actually a hammer and not Freddy's fastballs. <laughs> so whether you're a gamer, YouTuber, or somebody that just wants an absolute monster PC, seriously, go and check out Starforge Systems down in the description below. You will not be disappointed. It made my life so much better, so much easier, and the quality of my videos skyrocket through the roof. Starforge Systems, go get one now. This is where they tell, this is where they say, uh, hang on a second, we turn that thing off. Yeah. 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 Look around, that's crazy. Look at them, everybody. Freddy's toes. <laughs> 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 Look at this. I wonder, you, are you, you guys controlling this? I think they are. Oh, really? Yeah, they're controlling. They gotta be. Trying to scare the hell out of us. Look at them. Sorry. Crowley blinked twice. He's a hostage. If you're alive, Fuck. never mind. <laughs> Freddy's like the only sentient one. He's looking right at us. Oh, oh he moved his mouth. That is, this, is just a this is a good four. That is uncanny. What was great about seeing the animatronics in the fort like this was it showed that the film was going to have like an emotional side to it as well. It wasn't just about the horror, it wasn't just about the scares. It was multi-layered, multi-faceted. And then to see the animatronics actually have expressions like Freddy had there, because this was the first time we were interacting with the FNAF animatronics. This was a really special moment. And yeah, you got to see Freddy's fast toes. You're welcome. Oh, oh the pit. Hey, yo. Somebody's going in there, right? Yeah. Somebody is going in there. Freddy, no! Hit the like and subscribe button. Smash it. Right, stop it! Yo, that genuinely gets deep. Something? There's something in there! Something! Something got me! Now this next section is actually really, really cool because finally, finally, we got to see what a FNAF pizzeria kitchen looked like and it looked absolutely amazing. It had a big fan, it had a big fridge, it had pizza boxes, it had everything you would expect in the kitchen. I mean, except for the, the cupcake end game in somebody called Carl, which ironically is what the fan base actually called the cupcake. I thought that was a nice touch, nice little Easter egg there from Scotty Boy. But we then got to go through the back hallways and get to, we got to really experience the, the, the wholeness of this pizzeria. It wasn't just a couple of rooms. It actually had the, the back passageways. It, it was basically shaped exactly like the map on the game. When you looked at the cameras, you would flip it up and you would see how the layout was. That's how they made it. That's how the set was. You could literally walk through the whole pizzeria as if it was one big static building and it was fantastic. We got to see the closet in which Bonnie would hide in the FNAF one game when it, he would look up at the camera and that's obviously where Hank was in gamed as well we got to see his handprint on the window as well got to meet a couple of animatronics out in the hallway just vibing just chilling they were cooking up something but they weren't telling us what and we got to meet the mimic Overall, the team did an absolutely incredible job of creating not only a pizzeria, but something that you could actually physically walk through and feel as if it was real. It was, it was unbelievable. It was, we learned so many cool things, which I'm going to keep passing on to you. So you're learning as well. Look at us all learning. Every day's a school day. Stay, 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 stay in school, kids. <laughs> Look at all the feet. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Bring it in. Give Freddy a big old hug. Bring it in. Oh. 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 Big old fast hug. Oh. Oh. oh, his ears are wiggling. Oh, it's like me. You like that? Oh, fantastic. Wow.
Oh. <laughs> hey, Freddy. <laughs> Hiya. That's a real close up. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. I can't get over this. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, you're not a single in the middle of it. Yeah, like in the middle. Are we going to have a photo? Oh, endoskeleton. Oh, yes. There he is. That's who the... There he is. It's like a torture head. A torture head. Oh, yeah, I can see. You can see it. Freddy. Oh, is this a... Oh, Shadow Freddy. No, no, it's no? just a new kind of... Torture Freddy. Oh, like a Halloween kind of wow. Thing. Well, I think they put the mask. Well, yeah, the mask on, and then yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got yeah, it's, it's got blades yeah, in it. Is. What? One for the forehead. So it, it all it all moves, it all turns on, everything really? spins, oh. and it goes up and down. You try so it cool. out? Yeah, come on then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, unveil. Oh, there. Oh. Look at that! that oh my god! <laughs> the hands. So they actually wear everything. These. Is this what Matthew's wow. going to be wearing? Wow! Oh, okay. that's so cool. But you can feel them. They're just there's foams. Do you want to put it on? Put this on. Sure. <laughs> these masks are so good. It's actually picking up their eyeballs as well on the auto tracker. Oh. Never in my wildest FNAF fantasies did I. Hold on a second, that kind of sounds a little bit weird. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I was going to be in the same room with the iconic Spring Bonnie costume, let alone try that bad boy on, hoping that the spring logs don't fail on your boy. But here I am, here we are, in the room with Golden Freddy, with Spring Bonnie. Look at the level of detail on these animatronics. Actually, these are just the spring suits. Look at them. Look how good they look. A massive shout out to everybody over at Jim Henson's Creature Shop because they've brought FNAF to life. The love that they have for this franchise is clearly seen in the suits. They look so good and they look even better on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, especially because uh, Spring Bonnie's got cake. <laughs> <laughs> I think only you've noticed that so far. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thorough. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, the, it's just the way the suit's been aged as well. It's just, mm. it's gonna look so good. So is Bad Cupcake like the pseudonym for this film, or is it uh, the actual name? It's the um, production name. Oh, got you. Oh, the eyes are on. Hold on. It's gonna have a look. Yeah. We have to go get the remote control. So see if we can turn it on for you. So cool. What's this over here? What do you want to do? Torture Freddy. Oh, you got his wee eye on. Torture. <laughs> Arnold. Set called the Tina. Tina, that's Tina. Tina. Hi, Tina. Yeah, Tina. Nice to meet you, Tina. Ella's there. That's, uh, that is, so that's the one they're going to turn her, try and put her into. Yeah. Wow. Have you noticed that Sparky's looking a little uh, rough? Hey, okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't laugh at that, man. I can't. I refuse. Oh, no way. Oh, what wow. What is this used for? <laughs> Dorko, put your face in it. It'll be good for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, the eyes too. Wow. Wow. I mean, I mean, why is this, is this for torturing, like actually torturing? I think it's dental yeah. care in America. <laughs> <laughs> this is dental care in the UK. Oh, really? Unbelievable. It's kind of like, does it get it? used? Like, does it actually kill somebody? Well, remember that chair where somebody was strapped? Yeah. Was strapped yeah. Down? So cool. Ooh, that'll be where it's so used. Cool. William Afton's been busy. <laughs> what goes back the way? Oh, <laughs> Have them rotate in different ways, absolutely. So we had like stars and the gears, and then this is our shop's creature shop's logo. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I love Easter eggs. Very yeah. nice, yeah. Well, Scott loves Easter eggs too, so. Mm -hmm. Man, that's, that's awesome. Did you guys go into the, the shop that's behind the stage? I think we was that where there's like a chair in the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. saw that. Yeah, that was that, crazy. That's crazy. They, yeah. So we took a lot of stuff from our shop in LA. The creature. Oh, oh yeah. Because <laughs> like clearly they have one ripped off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you just duct tape it. <laughs> so, what's happening there? Oh. Oh, that's what's happening oh you see it from this side. Yeah, of course. Well, here we go. We're back for day two, baby. And we pretty much just lived here for an entire week. There is so much footage to go over. And because Universal and Scott and Blumhouse were very cool and chill about us being here on set, then we just took advantage of it. So this is day two recording and we were pretty much allowed to go and do whatever we wanted. We were allowed to wander around on our own and if there was something in particular we wanted to check out that we missed the day before then we were able to go and do it but this is where I was able to do a lot of exploring and find some secrets so you're gonna really enjoy this part so if you're enjoying it and you haven't hit that like button please go ahead and do that it really really is appreciated I think just, just as I'm watching this footage back because I got a cameo in the film, I was Mr. January over here on the Employee of the Month. Does that mean I'm canon in FNAF lore? Or at least FNAF movie lore? Is your boy, Mr. January, up here the best person for the job in Jan- uh, Am I still alive? <gasps> oh, it was my canon event. I got spring locked, didn't I? We just saw the footage. Oh, well. R.I.P. me. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the footage. <laughs> just down here. So one of the animatronics came through here as well, so it's like proper Five Nights at Freddy's, well, Five Nights at Freddy's 2's when they started being sussy and coming through the vents. But it was just amazing, the whole of the set. As you can see here, it's a little bit bigger than the original FNAF 1 office, but the attention to detail going around, especially you'll see on the mirror back here, it's saying, it's me, it's looking really good. I don't want to worry you guys, but I got a spooky feeling somebody's watching. <laughs> like I am out here. I am out on the show stage. You got the whole pizzeria behind me. I'm just here vibing with the crew. I'm part of the band, baby. Next section, let's go and look up the back, right at the arcade. Here we go, we've got some more beautiful posters on the wall up the back here. Look how realistic and authentic they look. We've got some arcade machines here, the standard ones, nothing particularly FNAF related. However, up the back, we got ourselves a ball pit. Yes, I don't know if this is gonna be some reference. I mean, it's got to get used at some point. There is no way this ball pit and the significance of ball pits have in the FNAF floor that this is not getting used. Like, I'm privy to a lot of information to do with the film. I haven't heard anything about this yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. No shoes in the ball pit, though. But, but, but deaths are okay. <laughs> Who's this guy? Looks like some sort of Yeti or something over here. Are we gonna get stuffed? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on the stage, and I'm all alone at the moment. Um, it's just, just Bonnie's looking at me. Goodbye forever. This room over here is Abby's room over here, the star of the show, and wow. It just, I mean, it's just a normal kid's bedroom until you look at the pictures. Look at some of these down here. Here you go, this has got to be some sort of lore stuff here. This is like human versions of the, you got, you got Foxy on the left, and then you got Freddy, you got Chico, you got Bonnie from the, from the looks of things. Whatever's going on over here, she is not liking it. It's a man, is that her dad maybe, with a slice of Za in his hand, and she scribbled him out in anger? Down here, we got some more versions. They're more like the animatronics now from this picture over here. They kind of vaguely remember like people, resemble people in a costume, but over here, they really do look like the animatronics. Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Bonnie. 
Again, underneath you've got some more versions. There we go, we've got somebody happy with the animatronic, the sun looking all cool. you got them all again up here, so it begs the question, did she know the animatronics before they became animatronics, as in the, uh, the, the souls? Was she friends with the kids? Who knows? Very interesting. Here we go. She looks like she's getting breakfast in bed. <laughs> From, I don't know who that is, brother maybe? Is that Mike? Here we go, over here, some more angry scribbles across faces. It's always this guy with a green shirt and uh, blue jeans over here. Looks like they were having fun maybe over here in some sort of fort, a little tent, which I think might be this thing that's over in the corner. It looks like she's got a fort with some more pictures over here. We got a cat, an elephant, spider, pig, new animatronics confirmed. And you got uh, a race car. And got the closet over here. I feel bad for snooping. Just seeing if there's any more Easter eggs. Just looks like a just a general prop dressings. I don't know if there's anything particularly significant here. If you spot anything, let me know. But this is just it's very cool. An etch a sketch, just very just just nineties products. Very simple, but very colourful, and it shows the, the, the light bubbly personality of of the character, which is very cool, this character. It's a very sinister balloon balloon girl over here. Balloon girl confirmed again. Very nice picture of them having a little bit of rain over here. Very cool. On the corridor over here, we've actually got Mike's room. It's all darkened. Not a great deal going on, but you can tell this, you can tell this man works out. He's got his gym session. He's got his bed. I think that's pretty much him. I don't want to turn any lights on or anything. But I think everything's just fairly, fairly simple. I don't think there's anything important in here apart from the man works out. So when he fights the animatronics, you know he's gonna, oh. He's your boy. <laughs> Watching this footage back now that we know the ending and how everything transpired in the FNAF movie, going through Abby's room and having a look at the pictures and the significance they actually hold is a truly different experience because when I was originally walking through this room, I was just speculating. I knew absolutely nothing about the plot at this point. So to discover that she was able to see the souls of the kiddos, it was, it was absolutely insane. They were her imaginary friends, if, if you want to put it that way way but they were really it was quite dark and sad and emotional the fact that she was able to see these kiddos and their spirits uh, it, 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 it was it was it was really nice going through a room and obviously it was Mike that she was scribbling out on all those pictures I wasn't able to know that at the time but we saw it in the film and that was obviously foreshadowing the ending in which she changed the picture and then the animatronics obviously saw William as the, as the big baddie and not some sort of helpful yellow rabbit friend. And it was, it was really, really interesting to see how that all went about. So it was nice walking through. And the contrast between her bedroom and Mike's bedroom, obviously she's just a kiddo. She's quite lively and bubbly and she draws pictures. Then you look at Mike's room, which is dark and sad and lonely and with nothing in there it's kind of it's a nice reflection of their two personalities so it was really cool seeing the, all this footage back as well so here we are back for day three we've been lucky enough once again thank you very much to everybody involved it's still surreal being able to come in here and see them in not in action so much just seeing them on the stage because this is how it would be in a Freddy Fazbear pizzeria you come get a slice of za you sit there with your family you lose your child and you come and see Foxy but he's a good guy so it wouldn't have been him. Look at that hook. Look at them toes. They're all looking fantastic as well. It's just how realistic they look. One-to-one -one models, as I've already said before, but seeing them up close, I mean, you're just seeing their toes now. I mean, some of you will probably like that, but let's go and have a look at the rest. Up a bit closer. Just seeing them all on the stage. And then you got a cupcake as well. Good old Carl. Look at him. Just big old Freddy, big daddy bear. And you got Bonnie over here. Got the guitar this time in his hands. And they're all just, they're all looking good. Just the size of their body. I'm 5'11 and these guys are dwarfing me. See inside his mouth. You got the endo in there as well. 
good. You got a corpse inside this one. <laughs> I feel like the cupcake's looking at you. Look delicious. Hey yo, looking good. We'll, we'll look at them from behind real quick as well, so you can see that they're all proper 3D. No tricks. These are all fully big old suits that you can get inside as well. So the part animatronic, part robot, part suit. You can get in there, you can wear them. You've got all the show lights behind it. It looks exactly like the FNAF 1 trailer, if you've seen it. Kissing the, kissing the rabbit. Not many people can say they've uh, kissed the Freddy Fazbear. Over here, Chica Baby Girl, this is, this is people's dreams. There we are. If this get, what's that? Oh, I've seen what Carl does. I've seen what you do in this, you little savage. Yeah, you little sussy boy. But there's some good scenes, especially with the cupcake. Really good scenes. So far from what we've seen being recorded, which is epic, and what we've heard script-wise, you're gonna love it. And, and if you don't, then you're obviously sad. <laughs> Gonna leave, gonna leave Freddy with uh, something to think about. Um, oh, I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Guess you'll just have to bear with me. Get off the stage. <laughs> Here we are, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Look at this entrance. This is a part that I've um, not seen yet. I don't know why, I don't know how I've managed to miss it. I was looking at the other boys' footage and they were like, oh, did you check out the entrance? No, no I didn't, apparently not. So here we are, so this is the grand entrance before you go into the pizza plex itself over there. So let's have a little look around here. So we've got the service desk where you come in, you're like, yeah, I've made a reservation. Freddy set me up in the VIP section, right in his mouth. So he's gonna dine on some frontal lobe. We've got some old uh, popcorn over here, an old popcorn machine. We've got some plushies up there. We'll go and have a look at them in a little bit more detail around the side afterwards. You've got an old school cash register. I'm gonna rob that in a minute. Don't tell Blumhouse. And we've got some posters over here as well. And you've got the gang as well, coming soon. Okay, so what's this? All new stage show extravaganza. Freddie Fazbear, Chica, Foxy, and Bonnie performing all new songs. You won't want to miss it. You definitely won't. You definitely won't. Oh, okay, well we've seen a couple of songs, or at least while we've been here, we've seen them perform in some songs and I'm telling you, they are looking real, real good. We've got just casual things over there so we can come in here. Let's have a look at the deals of the day, baby. Token packages. Obviously you want to come in here, you want to spend all your money on the Fazbear memorabilia. We've got some stuff there. Best deal ever? Wow! 500 game tokens and your child goes missing for six nights. Oh, I see what you've done there, Freddy. You nasty. 60, 69. Right. Oh, this place is looking good. Okay, so let's go around. We'll come in. So we'll get the we'll get the pizzeria experience. So you've come through the main door. You're obviously not walking backwards, but you're coming in. You're coming through here. You see the the managers of Freddy Fazbear here. You got a. Uh, you can't be here. This place was abandoned many years ago. You need a, to leave. Get out. I, I, Excuse me. Hello, hello, uh, this is the manager here. Uh, you can't be here, man, it's it's closed. Ah! <laughs> That's what I... <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in, just do that. That's assault, hot. man, I'm calling the cops. But this is the section over here that we've still not checked out. Oh, well, actually, first, before we go to there, a little snippet. I'm gonna come back and check out these pictures in a minute because one of them is very important to the plot line. I'm not gonna tell you what one. Anyway, we're gonna come back. We've got all the posters in the world over here. Now, let's come through here. Let's check out the front entrance desk. As you would expect, you've just got loads of different FNAF memorabilia. You've got Freddy, Chica, the plushies, just looking all good. <laughs> Look at that, Chica. Oh, the place is just so well. The set has been decorated so well. It looks like this was, at one point, a real pizzeria and a FNAF one at that. It's not just an old pizzeria. They've decided to chuck a couple of plushies in here and that. that's it. Everything is perfect. It all looks great. Now, as I said, come back. Here we go. We're in the pizzeria. 
let's come around and have a look at these pictures again. Something that I was wanting to look at for a couple of days. And we've just got a wall, just like in the games, just lots of different Freddies and Chicas that the kids have drawn while they've been here. And they're so good. Now this picture right here is very special. That one right there, that was, um, it's very key. Very, very key to the storyline and it looks good. But as the pictures, oh, you got Balloon Boy just popping in there, <laughs> laughing away. <laughs> Balloon Boy's not even in FNAF 1. But here we go. Rainbow, Chica's rainbow. Everybody looking real good. Look at Freddy. These are good pictures. Foxy looking terrifying there. We've got the cupcake, party, pizza, another Foxy. As always, everybody's favorite is Foxy. Just, just people. Oh, look. We've got David over here. Look at everybody's looking good. Everybody's looking fantastic. I love this pic. Look at, look at, <laughs> look at Spring Bonnie. So good, the golden rabbit. But as you can see here, it's just the normal animatronics. The ones that stick out are obviously golden rabbit boy over here, Spring Bonnie and Balloon Boy as well. Uh, I'm not sure how significant Balloon Boy is to this story or if Balloon Boy's just in there as a little Easter egg, maybe hinting at things to come in the future. But there, oh, so that guy's dining down on some ice cream. Dining down, I think that's pretty much it. That, 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 that we've seen this little bit extra. You've got a vent under there that gets used in the film. Very cool, very cool. And just the, the posters of the animatronics. and. Just the haunting stage over here as the animatronics have vanished to go and do what they need to do. Especially Foxy. You saw a scene with him running down the halls at full pelt and it looks incredible. Honestly, the things we have seen these animatronics do, they are, they're terrifying. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of lost at this point in time and I've just been walking through the back rooms of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and I've suddenly just stumbled across my boy over here. Look at that suit, you've got the endoskeleton there. He's just been filmed for a scene. It's a very cool scene from what we've seen. The way these guys work is just, it's just perfect. You, you're gonna love it, go and watch it. Oh, now this was a special moment. We were absolutely blessed and graced by the presence of Kevin, Jade, and Jess, who were the actors that played Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. And wow, what a conversation we had with them. We asked them a couple of questions. They were able to then go ahead and teach us how to become animatronics. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna tease you a little bit. You'll get a couple of the little highlights and then what I'm gonna do is we're, we're gonna have a separate video because this chat deserves a video by itself an interview with the actors of the animatronics the people who made the iconic characters come to life and as you've already seen in the film they did such an amazing job so look forward to that at the end of next week but now enjoy what we've got depending on your activity you have set times you're allowed to be in the suit how long can you be in the suit before they're like, nope, we have to have a break? Yeah, no, there is, there is definite, there's a 15, 15 minute part kind of like, okay, now we're, we've reached the 15 minute part. Yeah. And it's from the time you put on the, the heads, and yeah. then they kind of time it out. We'll, you know, we'll push it. There's no, there's no legal binding from SAG or from yeah. any kind of organization. It's just through Andy as some kind of coordinator and us saying, okay, yeah. how long do we want to spend in these? Okay, 15, yeah. 20 minutes is a good time before, you know, we can get a shot or two in and then let's take the heads off. Yeah. And yeah. It, it does depend on what we're doing too. Some yeah. movements or yeah. positions are harder than others. And sometimes we do push it a lot. And especially too, you know, we've kind of been talking about it. We were on a martini shot. Yeah, we got yeah. one shot left. Yeah. It's like, let's just power just through and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here, you know? Yeah. Um, but then there was there was another time where I was doing something that was really straining, and I think it was about three minutes. Yeah. yeah it's like, yeah. you know, I, I go one left, yeah. Yeah. one more, last one. Yeah, you know. I heard you say that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't want to call it. <laughs> I, but I had to. I was like, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's really you know the fifteen is a suggestion, and then we adjust from there. Yeah, but it's really nice because, yeah, yeah. Yeah. when the 15 and 20 comes and they're like, oh, we have to get their heads off, we're like, oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes, you do. So yes, I'm taking your shoes off after a long day. Oh, yeah. 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 Let the puppies yeah. breathe. Yeah. 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 I noticed yeah. that it was like once I get out of the, the helmet or the head and the backpack, like my posture has completely changed. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Oh, I feel so much lower. Yeah. yeah. It does feel good. 
But so how long did you spend uh, preparing for the like, movements and stuff? Did you study any of the games to see what the movements were yeah. like? Yeah, we studied the games, watched some YouTube videos, um, and we had a four-week rehearsal period. And that's where we're gonna leave it for today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I've absolutely left you on a massive cliffhanger there, but honestly, what they say and their research and study into how they became the FNAF animatronics and the love they have for the characters is so incredible, it needs its own video. Plus, they taught us how to be animatronics, and, well, we were a billion times worse than them, but it was really fun. So next weekend, or at the end of next week, we are gonna have that video, so be a looking out for it. Subscribe with notification bell on, because you don't want to miss that video. Anyway, back on to the final part of the vlog. Oh, it's gonna be so sad. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last day here on f uh, the Five Minutes of Freddy's movie set. Freddy Fazbear's uh, unfortunately having to say goodbye to me. I I broke rules four and six, and I'm getting turfed out. I've been told never to come back, especially because of rule four. And uh, yeah, but just have one final goodbye to the set. Everything's looking fantastic. It's all set up for another scene. I love the lighting. The lighting's so good. <laughs> it's amazing. You've got the uh, the stage over there. You've got the pinball machine in the background. It's like it's like I'm really here at Five Nights at Freddy's. Over in the hallway again. Had a very important scene. Very cool. Um, it was very cool the way they did it. Is for the opening scene. So when you go and see it, you'll know the one we're talking about. The first night guard. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. But yeah, overall, the whole place is, I love the lighting. I still can't get over how cool the whole thing looks. It's just, it's just beautiful. Doco's just come in and he's talking about me being up on the stage. <laughs> he's burning, he's in daylight for the first time. Come up here, baby. Hello. Come up here. Just seeing how it's sad that we're, that we're, yeah. we're, fi we're finally getting kicked off the set. Yeah, it's really sad. But we've had a great time. We have, we really have. We really and have. We're so fortunate that Scott invited us along and everybody over at Blumhouse was cool with us being here. And we took advantage. Yeah. Like, we've been here every day. Every day we could have been here from the start to the end. We've seen incredible things. And honestly think they've done the fans proud. Mm -hmm. Like, they really wanted to stick to how it was all in the games and they've done such a good job at that. Bye guys. I'm gonna cry man. Goodbye. In fact no I'm gonna go get spring locked in a suit so that I uh, don't have to leave. Bye. <laughs> Come here. No for real. This is deep. It's no wonder they don't let kids play in deep ones and you get lost. I'm exhausted. I'm standing. Are you actually? No. <laughs> But if I did try and stand, you just keep slipping. There's nowhere to push yourself up. And because I put myself upside down, like I'm in a weird position now. I, I think I think I'm actually staying here. Genuinely. I mean so. Right about my face just now, there's gonna be the part one of the movie vlog. I urge you to go and check that out if you haven't already, or maybe you wanna go and watch it again. Who knows? But you definitely wanna see it because there's stuff in that video that was not in this one. So you need to watch them both to get the full picture of what was going on behind the scenes. But either way, wow. I want to get a massive shout out to Starforge Systems, the best PCs in the universe down in the description below. Click that link if you're looking for a new PC because I will never go to anybody else. And that's a fact. Unbelievable. Smash that like button and I'll see you in another video. I'm a Raspowski, you've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching, and I'm a big old emotional mess. Goodbye!